Hello students. How are you? I hope you are always in good condition. Today, we are going to learn English. Are you ready to study? Good. The lesson today is about notice, caution and warning. First, look at the examples of notice, caution, warning. Then, find their differences. Next, answer the questions to comprehend them. Finally, make a notice, a caution, and a warning for your classroom, your canteen, your library, your school. Notice is a sign or short information in public places. You must carry out the action given by the sign. It is a mandatory. It gives you direction. Caution. Caution is a sign or short information in public places. There is a risk of danger given by the caution. And there is an implication of a hazard ahead. It is put in public places to tell people to be more careful. Warning. Warning is a sign or short information in public places. Means no. For instance, no food, no drink. No smoking. It is prohibited or forbidden. You must not do it. Or you must stop. Perhaps you'll find a sign in public places with green color. Safeway is a sign or short information. It means go. It gives direction to save your life in an emergency. For example, Fire exit, emergency phone, assembly point, first aid station. Read the text and choose the best answers. A, B, C or D. Question number one. The notice is written to... A. Ask the site office to report visitors to the arrival. B. Remind people to tell they're coming to the office. C. Prohibit people to visit the recreation place. D. Warn the visitors to clear the area. Question number two. Where do you probably find this notice? A. Malls. B. Markets. C. Tourism objects. D. Fast food restaurants. Question number three. Face mask required in this area. The word required has closest meaning with A. Dispensable. B. Unneeded. C. Necessary. D. External. Question number four. The caution is addressed to A. School administration staffs. B. All the people in that area. C. School board members. D. All the students. Question number five. The word our means. A. Days. B. Hours. C. Seconds. D. Minutes. Question.
Question number six. The sign tells you to A. Enter the room under protection. B. Avoid go on to without permission. C. Protect this area immediately. D. Watch from CCTV. Question number seven. Please make some useful and creative signs. A notice, a caution, and a warning. I'm sure you can do it. That's all our lesson today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share if you find it interesting. Wait for our other videos of learning. And keep practicing your English.